If you're a developer for an app, you probably know the nightmare that would ensue if you let just anyone or anything create a new account without some sort of verification. The simplest, cheapest, and most common option? Email verification. Someone signs up, they get an email, they click the link in the email, and right away you know they're a real person. Except, not really. The problem is, an email address is hardly an accurate one-to-one -one representation of a human. All you've proved is the existence of an email address. It's also really easy to create a new email account just to satisfy a verification requirement. Or lots of email accounts. And just because someone's email address was legitimate at one point, doesn't mean it hasn't since been hacked and or become part of a bot network. So maybe you've tried defending against bad signups using a CAPTCHA. Good idea. You just got rid of all the robots. But this won't stop a human with criminal intentions, let alone a whole workshop of them. Oh, and CAPTCHAs generally frustrate people like crazy. But there is another piece of information you can use that's a much better indicator of a real person accessing your business. A phone number. It's harder to fake and more expensive for a hacker to scale an attack. It's now very common to see signup forms ask for a phone number, so users are familiar with giving applications their number. It might seem simple to implement phone verification yourself, in theory. Just send the user a text containing a randomly generated PIN code, then make sure they retype this code into your application, thereby verifying that they have access to the phone number they provided. But, of course, it's not that simple. First, you have to fix potential deliverability issues. What if someone's phone isn't capable of receiving a text message? Then there are the filtering rules. Did you know, for instance, that your message might not be delivered in Canada if the code comes from a USA 10-digit number? You'll need to know which filtering rules are in place all across the globe. Then there's the issue of translation. You'll need to translate all the SMS messages for each region your business is in. And all the voice messages. On top of that, the rules change constantly. You'll have to familiarize yourself and stay up to date with all the rapidly changing filtering rules and regulations of carriers and the local regulatory requirements. And that's to say nothing of all the security considerations. But what if you didn't have to think about any of this? What if all the regulatory and security issues, carrier rules, and language barriers just went away? What if you could replace all those development hours with just two API calls? What if you knew that the message would make it to the human user, no matter where they are in the world, and in the right language? This might be closer than you think. Step 1. Sign up for a Twilio account if you haven't already. Step 2. Head over to Verify. Step 3. Create a new app. And Step 4. Integrate it into your app with just two API calls. The first API call sends a verification code to your user, either by voice or SMS. Let them choose. And then, once the user has entered the code on your website, the second call verifies with Twilio that that code was the correct one. Voila! No writing extensive code from scratch. Be confident that the message will make it to its intended destination, and that the user is, in fact, a real person with a real phone. If you're ready to dive in, we've put together a collection of sample projects in all your favorite programming languages, so you can get started right away. We can't wait to see what you build.